Hi, I'm Marco Tender, and today in VTA, I'm going to show you how to import students to a team. This whole process is pretty quick. Open up your team record, and on the Students tab, you're going to start the process with the Import button. What you're going to want to do is download the template and save it locally. Once populated, you're going to go ahead and choose the file. After it's uploaded, click Run Import. And you will see the results of how many people were added. And if anybody was already on the team, it would state that on the import window. You'll close your window, and your students are in. That was a little quick, so let's go over some of the details regarding the import. Do not add, rearrange, or retitle the columns. The program is going to look for specific columns in a specific order. Do not save it as an XLSX file, keep it as XLS. If you do by chance save it as an XLSX file, the system will let you know that right away. You'll have the choice of using one or the other of the IDs in a student record. So that's going to be either the student ID or their learner login ID. To load the import template, you can choose to use either an export from the student grid, or if you're going across sites, you could use the find student grid, filter it down, and export that out to Excel so that you could use all these IDs in your import template. So opening up my import template, you can see I've got a student ID, a learner login ID, student name, and an assigned date. So as I mentioned, you only need to use either the learner login ID or the student ID. You don't need both. The student name is just there for your purposes to make sure that you've got the right person as you're working through your template you can choose to set a specific team assignment date. If it's left blank, then the current date will be used for their team assignment date. So if I wanted to populate this real quick, and I've got an extract from the Find Student Export, I can copy my IDs, and now I'm either going to choose Paste Special Values from the right-click menu, or if I choose Paste Special, choose Values. So if you're going to leave the current date as the team assignment date, there's nothing else you need to do. The template has the IDs that it needs. So back in the system, if by chance you do have some bad information in your file, the system will let you know that during the import process. And the bad data you may experience is the ID may not be in the system or you've typed in a date that is not in a correct date format. So this is letting me know that this is not a correct date format. And I've got to go fix it in my file. With the date fixed, if I try that again, Now it's letting me know that this particular student ID does not exist in the system. So you make all the corrections you need. Again, you're going to click import. If you need to download the template, it's available for you. You'll go ahead and choose your file once it's populated. Once it's uploaded, you'll run that import and you'll get your results. And that's how you batch import students to a team. Thanks for watching.